Dave, you got yours? I cheers. got mine. Cheers, cheers. everybody. Cheers, cheers, yeah. We're starting? Sure. You got it? Like, so the whole cheers. time we're just talking to each other. Like, we don't acknowledge this. You're not going to acknowledge the cameras. If you want to talk to the, the people, you, you may. This is okay. a public service. Yeah. <laughs> Run. <laughs> I don't know if I should put my drink down there because like every time I'm going to be leaning and like grunting. It's like, it's like folding a bowling ball in half. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. A strong, sexy bowling ball. In the cutest way possible. Mm-hmm. But do you want to welcome everybody? Um, you know, or introduce everybody? Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Hi. <laughs> welcome back to the Psych Word Podcast. And this is unbelievably exciting we have two guests um super sexy super fun people we are grateful to call them friends and uh we're pumped that they wanted to talk with us today so brad pitt and angelina jolie yeah, yeah, thanks for having us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is uh, andy and dave and maddie actually just filmed a youtube video with uh with andy yeah. Yeah. Right? And it's going to be another uh, head massage, head yeah. scratching video. Pampering video. Pa- pampering video. I can't wait to see that. Oh, yes, yes. Um, yeah, so welcome. Welcome to our Thank home. You. Thank you. Thank you for having us. You guys have been here before, so it's we not, have. Nothing, nothing new. <laughs> but we have to make it official with microphones. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. And drinks. <laughs> right. And fit vine. Yeah. And what are you drinking? You uh, drink? Whiskey. What kind? Jack. She's going straight. We have Jack? Yeah. Really? Jack. She keeps it hidden from you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's her secret storage. All right. Um, <laughs> it's in the vegetable drawer. <laughs> so why um, uh, why did you film a video with Andy? What was the video? Uh, uh, I know you did a little interview in front and you yeah. were promoting something because Dave and Andy are owners of uh, something really cool that we're like... We're super interested in, and we wanted to get their take on um, uh, what they do. And I think uh, uh, Maddie's audience will find it interesting too. So you can explain that it. That was a, little a bit. phenomenal lead in. Thank you. Your psych. Thank you. <laughs> Masterful. <laughs> um, yeah. I practice it in the mirror over and over. <laughs> the truth comes yeah. out. Secretly, yeah. I do too. I kept Thank on doing. I, somebody had to say it before. Exactly. I, I kept on going, Dandy and Abe. No, no, no. Andy and Dave. Oh, Damn man. it. Oh, oh. Stupid. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tell them uh, the name of the website, and then we'll pass it to them so they yeah. can describe what that website is and what they do. Well, really, it's twofold. We really want to talk about DoubleDateNation.com, which is their baby, their platform, and then we ended up also talking about their new baby, their um, OnlyFans, which I think they're eight days in on, and yeah. it's already going phenomenally so yeah. you guys whichever one you want to start with i'd love to hear well, about both t- tell us about double date nation uh um what the website is and why you started it because there's other websites out there that are like that mm-hmm. but they're just not as good from what i hear <laughs> <laughs> well with ours uh double date nation is uh, kind of a, a lifestyle site that's considered for swingers monogamous but monogamous like you know monogamish. open open marriage open-minded yes. individuals the ish is the, the, the ish. new n-word now non-committal. Right? Non-committal. Yes. non-committal yes but uh what we built double date for was when we first got into it it was um i guess it was very intimidating the well, lifestyle the lifestyle was itself mm-hmm. when we first got the sites that were available and um I, I we felt that if we made one that was like more um welcoming more welcoming to newbies then it would maybe bring the lifestyle into a, a bigger light gotcha so. when you say welcoming to newbies is it like the um you you're the newbies are allowed to just dip their toe in the water without like being like harassed by you know right. fifty thousand people like say if a girl joins or or a young couple joins and they just want to go out on a date but not necessarily go to a, a key party they can do that right <laughs> right well that's the the double date feature right yeah. so it's like you can meet with people with no expectations and it's stated up front so you don't have to have that worrying in the, you know in the back of your head the whole time going oh gosh how do i get out of this or you know so you go mm-hmm. in feeling more secure about 
There's an out. Oh, yeah. There's an out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can leave if we're yeah. uncomfortable. Right. Zero expectations. It just makes it, you know, yeah. and, and people like having sexy conversations. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. just those conversations. I think that's half the fun. It really is. Really. It's just mm -hmm. hearing other people's experiences and fantasies and, and just kind of you don't have to worry about, mm. you know, yeah. you can't do that with your friends, your regular friends, yeah. your vanilla yeah. friends. Vanilla friends. The, yeah. the filter's turned off. Yeah. yeah. Unlike anywhere else. Ah. Did, uh, um, do you ever feel like when we go out, like it, there's like a joke you can't make like around our normal friends or That's whatever you want exactly to call them? exactly what we talked about in the video is I think people have been just interacting with their neighbors only really for the past year, just having these really limited circles and yeah, you have to kind of, I don't know, not paint yourself with such a broad brush. I don't know <laughs> what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you have to kind of dull yourself down. Um, and it's exciting for people to get back out there and be able to have fun in an authentic way. Make yeah. dirty jokes. Let your freak flag fly. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Half mass sometimes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> another thing that we've also noticed, so we go to a lot of parties and everything. You know, it's just naturally people like to party and lifestyle. Yeah. Um, but going there, a lot of them are social swingers, which is a, a definition where they don't actually do anything sexual with any other human beings. Yeah. They just like the full sexual nature environment oh. they're in. And then they go back to the room with their partner right. or whoever. Right, and they do their And thing. then tear it up. <laughs> so that's I, interesting. See, that's what the thing, people think that everybody just swaps its key yeah. parties. Giant which, orgy. Yeah, that's what they think it is, but it's not. There, yeah. It's just a different environment or community of people. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting because we, we got asked on our first podcast, was it? Mm -hmm. what, what was the question? Are oh, are we swingers or are you lifestyle friendly? Yeah. And then we had to explain to the people, uh, the other people that didn't understand that question, what what lifestyle meant. Because we actually knew what it meant because we uh -huh. hung out with a lot of swingers in uh, Las Vegas. Uh -huh. um, and uh, and then we yeah, we kind of labeled ourselves lifestyle friendly because we have been out with people. I mean, we've been out to, we've been out to dinner with you guys. Right. We haven't been to any giant parties, but we've been to places where it's you know ski, people are skinny dipping and oh, you know yeah. it's you know it's kind of crazy. And um, she got asked a lot like when she'll share some of those pictures or videos on her OnlyFans, and then people are always like. Oh man, you get to the cool parties. How do we get to go to the cool parties? Like we're cool. Like you know, we have kids, we have babysitters. We have to plan every single night out, like two weeks in advance. You know, we just had a night out with some friends, and we had to leave. You know, because our you know our daughter was uh, got sick at the babysitter's house, uh -huh. and uh, so yeah, so we're not like cool. We don't get to invited to like the, all these like Hollywood parties or whatever. It's just like we just know cool people that happen to like you know, be in that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I guess you just, you don't have to partake in it, but you can still have fun and you don't have to go out to dinner with somebody and just talk about the second the grade. Right. Yeah. The <laughs> weather. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Check. That, <laughs> right. yeah. um, that's cool. So um, yeah. So that was one of the biggest reasons why uh, when we were talking about mm -hmm. it, we're like, man, Maddie's fans would like to like, I don't know, just know that, different lifestyles of people it's like it's normal mm -hmm. you know it, like it's just it's a normal life you live it's just just when you go out at night sometimes it's a little bit more fun than, a little more risque a little bit more yeah. risque yeah and i think people like that yeah mm -hmm. i think it's important i think a lot of people feel lonely in their desires and don't have anybody to talk about it with don't feel like they can express themselves maybe to their normal everyday friends and it's amazing that you give them the opportunity to to connect and mm -hmm. let their freak flag fly right, and right. express and, themselves well that's a good point too and i think a lot of people that are in the lifestyle don't necessarily even communicate their fantasies or thoughts with their partner mm -hmm. and that's even worse you know but that that's a good point you know do you guys get a lot of people on there like uh um like, well, not specifically on your site because you don't know everything about your site, but like, what would you say the, I don't, I don't want to use the term divorce rate, but like out of all the people you've met, do you, do you tend to see stronger couples or do you tend to see like, oh, we met them two years ago in Cancun at one of the 
parties and mm-hmm. they're no longer together. I mean, so is the lifestyle a direct highway to divorce or is it a direct highway to the healthiest relationship or is it somewhere in the middle? That's a good question. Well, I think most Thank of the people you. we've <laughs> encountered, I, I wouldn't say it's, it's good for the marriage, but you want to be in a really good place before you get into the lifestyle. It's not a band-aid. It's not a band-aid. It's not a band-aid. For sure. Yeah. And yeah. So what I've seen is, yes, marriages in the lifestyle are so strong and unbelievably strong. The trust is... But they're strong there. when they get there. Yeah. But if you have the ability to share your wife and your have this kind of lifestyle... The trust between us is amazing. Or yeah. share your husband. Yeah, we That's share. not just a one way street. Yeah. <laughs> That's not making any assumption. I, I, I was speaking internally about yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's like that. So they come in, if they come in with a strong, just like anything, if they come in with a strong relationship, then mm-hmm. it's most likely going to last and they're going to build upon it. Oh, yeah. Thing. I have seen people reach out, though, that will say, you know, we had infidelity. I figured this may be an answer mm-hmm. because my husband or wife kind of strayed in our relationship. Mm-hmm. That's not an approach. You can't say, no. well, you know, I don't want to do this, but since you want to kind of graze in that field, I'll let you do that. That's that's yeah. a recipe for disaster. Mm-hmm. It's really yeah, it's right. it's <laughs> yeah. terrible. There yeah. has to be equal benefit on both parts. And desire. It right, can't be absolutely. one taking one for the team. No, saying, well, I know she wants to do this or he wants to do this. Again, that's yeah, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. They both got to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. well, um, it's kind of funny. Like our first meeting we ever had, they they left us at the table so we could talk first, so we could panic by ourselves. Yeah, well, we were scared <laughs> to death, and they knew that. <laughs> yeah. So this is your first meeting with another couple. Like you yeah. just decided to well, like, yeah. hey, let's go out. Yeah, mm-hmm. the first time we were gonna go talk to somebody and say, hey, this. This piques our interest. Yeah. yeah. When you oh. met, oh, go ahead, baby. It's very thoughtful of them. It yeah. was, yes. and they're friends to this day, actually. So they're oh, yeah. they're nice. wonderful people. Do you yeah. want to give their full names? Yes, right now? and social security. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> their Stay exact tuned. location. Right. <laughs> right. They were like their Sherpas. <laughs> <laughs> their horny Sherpas up the mountain of risqueness. Um, that's so. When? What did you? What was your first step to meeting that couple? Did you use one of now what would be your competitors' sites? Yeah, is that what basically did. led to Double Date Nation? Is mm-hmm. was you're like you use their sites and it, like it wasn't as secure, or it was kind of trashy, or yes, not to yes. trash anybody else's <laughs> site, but you know. What I mean? Well, we just terrible. kind of want to rebrand it for a more modern attempt at it, I guess. I just gotcha. a more modern platform. Well, and it's also yeah. so today mm-hmm. also in the app stores, they're so stringent on what you can and cannot have in your apps. So we built our app knowing those we're going to be strengthening down. And so the other dating sites apps are not going to be able to they have to abide by those rules eventually. And we just try our best to abide by the rules starting from where we were. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So are you the only ones in the app store out of all the No, sites? no, everybody's there. Oh. They still have oh, apps. They, do. Okay. they just in our case we were submitting when they had the new rules. I the gotcha. other apps have been there since. So they're oh. kinda like grandfather did. Oh. It's a new update. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Annoying. Boo. Um what you had a uh, you had an interesting uh, take on um Oh, we we were talking about this earlier. I won't make you guess what we were talking about, but it, uh, <laughs> ha, uh, getting recognized, like in your neighborhood, like we swear we know there's a, we know, but there's a couple in our neighborhood that like everybody knows is you know they got the different cars pulling up and other but, people will like comment on it. Or be like, yeah, I saw someone leave there at two a.m. and it was the same redhead. <laughs> so <laughs> really do, cool. Do you guys get pointed out in your neighborhood? Because I mean, you're you're suburbanites you're uh do you think like like there's the, like you know dads out there going oh those two i know what they do <laughs> right. or, so watering their grass i, I sometimes <laughs> wonder but just like you have like a slight faith hill look so we like walk down and people are like staring at us in a way so i'm i don't know if it's because they think we're <laughs> swingers or because our like, boobs are huge <laughs> right exactly <laughs> royalty i think we've definitely been kind of pointed out of Hmm. You know, yeah. we, we see them up late. They have people coming and going and they don't go anywhere Sunday morning. <laughs> so. and then we, we, we have had some podcasters over to our house. Uh, that yeah. It was not quiet evening. Really? It was no, not a quiet it was, evening. Yeah. Well, that's another thing to point out is uh, uh, they, they have a podcast on YouTube as well that they do mm-hmm. uh, called the Celibate Swingers, which... 
doesn't make sense, <laughs> but it is a nice name. I like it. Right. Yeah, you know. Um, no, I'm just joking about that. But yeah, it's uh, uh, where you guys actually do talk about the open about this stuff, and um, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's you don't make it a secret of who you are. So if your neighbors do watch, they would know, right? Right. right. Yeah. Exactly. Well, actually, YouTube's down now, right? Is it done? Well, we had a glitch with yeah. So this uh, isn't on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> well, YouTube didn't like our last video, so they community guidelines we'll, we'll go back up though so yeah yeah well, you said it goes uh, back up after a while right well i mean you just well, gotta you gotta appeal it yeah. yeah you gotta this appeal it yeah. yeah so now are you limited from uploading for like a second oh yeah it's oh, complete yeah. Like they're they like closed the channel so we oh, had to argue no. we did what did you do on? i don't get it did you do like some or was it just what you were talking it's about just, just the, the content somebody complained and flagged it it didn't matter it there's the same content on every one of them so there's no nudity or anything it's just convert it's just like this but but i guess it was showing up in something and people were flagging it but it'll go back i think it's our i think it's sdc honestly but I, I wonder if uh, I'm I wonder off. if it was competitors. <laughs> I think it may have been. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah, because you can go. I mean, any comedians podcast they talk about everything, all kinds, oh my all yeah. kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they get gruesome on those things. Well, and then there's the, the other Tom and Bunny that have their mm-hmm. YouTube channel. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Just, not our first radio. No, nah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> That's really such a disappointment. Because, yeah. I don't know. I think people need information and mm-hmm. people are starved for excitement and starved for i don't know just something different reality yeah Yeah. reality Mm -hmm. yes and if there's no there's no way to disseminate that information that's crazy yeah well that's why i kind of like you're you on the only fans because like you now are un uninhibited yes Yes. they don't care well it's in it's do whatever you want we have double date nation which you know is reputable and then we have what are we're going to do is reputable and dirty and nasty and raunchy (laughs) yeah the introverted exhibitionists that's really what we are we are so introverted yeah (laughs) but not on not on camera camera. not on camera (laughs) i understand completely Do you guys, um, so when you did, you did start your OnlyFans, are you guys going for, because everybody, you know, there's so many people on OnlyFans and um, we've talked about this before. I would think if you're going on OnlyFans, you have to have that, like that catch. What, 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 what are you, you know, there's 15,000 hot girls, you know, within a hundred mile radius that are on it as well. So I always tell people, Hey, like her niche is asmr and you guys are kind of going for like a the couples, couples like mm-hmm. yeah, yeah some people want to follow like hey what does this what's it like following a the successful couple that you know that doesn't care what people think of them and and uh, goes out and has fun i mean that's what you're going for basically all right well in a dose a little bit of reality too so we're gonna do little snippets of just us in daily life so it's not yeah. when the glam is on and the lights are on mm-hmm. And the you know sexy time is on, <laughs> so you know it's, it's I just also focus just on the sexy time. Yeah. <laughs> it's just us um, us going through a drive through or going to dinner in the grocery store. So it's just kind of a of an in, inside of what we do in a day, and then what we do at it's night like, or yeah. in the, the middle the, of the day. I the like inside it. life of lifestyle <laughs> site owners. It's like a no holds barred reality show. Right, it's great. Right. Yeah, people can get a closer look on what it's like to actually maybe start a business or start. You know, start a site and an app and right. yeah. all the work that goes into that. Mm-hmm. Oh, tons. You know, what was the hardest part about that for all the tech uh, wow. tech people out there? What do you think was the biggest roadblock in starting the mobile app, the mobile app and security and encryption? Really? Mm-hmm. When you get in security and encryption and you're encrypting nearly everything you do, there's a chance something's going to break. So you eventually have to make everything to where it's a fine-tuned gears that just runs right. Really? Mm-hmm. And then the mobile app. Yeah, because you had to submit so many different builds. We got denied from Apple and Android so many times. We just had to keep building, resubmitting, and it finally went through. Wow. I mean, but they're so strict. Like, we even had icons. We had, like, a sex toy-looking icon. An icon. Mm -hmm. Our app got disapproved. So we had to resubmit the whole build. The entire build for an icon. Wow. Yeah. Are they clear to you like this no. specifically? No. Nope. You just kind of just It's have to kind of like, hey, you did something wrong now. You get to guess what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that well, would be fun. Is, yeah. Well, and you submit, say you submit a build. If they find the first issue, they send it back to you disapproved. 
they don't keep going Mm-mm. and find oh. the rest of the things they're going to disprove. So we fix this one thing, submit a build. Oh, they found the next one. Wow. Oh, so it was so tedious. But we finally got the foundation there. And every time we submit, it's good now. It, okay. But it was just that first time trying yeah. to get it. it was The first know. 25 times. The first, Do you have to yeah. submit it? Like, at, like, do you have to keep on resubmitting for rechecking? Mm-hmm. Like, yep. Every time we wow. every time we change something in the app, we have to resubmit it. Even a single line of code. So you're telling me all those crappy apps that I download, or the, all the ones we download for the kids, you know, that are just horrible, like ad clicking. Mm-hmm. You're telling me all those people like can make it through the the, the process, <laughs> but like one dating app can't. Like that's right. that's insane. Because <laughs> that's it's almost criminal what they do with those ads really and the is. kids things. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. at least it's it's a little harder. Would you say to buy something on those apps now? Yeah. Like. Sort of. Like we don't get like a credit card bill like like if one of our kids no. like buys like nineteen thousand coins yeah, or whatever. Yeah, I think Apple has changed things. Well, the, you have there was to have the like parental approval, or you can lock it. But well, there was a Fortnite incident or something where a kid had spent twenty eight thousand dollars on his parents' credit card on upgrades on a video game. That's insane. Yeah, and they were stuck by the bill. And yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah that's it. If it, it, it just seems so weird that those apps can get through just no problem. No problem. Right. You know, but you guys have a subscription feature on your website, though. So mm-hmm. that makes Apple money, right? Or oh, yeah. Android or whatever. Most money. definitely. Well, that's, <laughs> well, we wanted that extra level of security there. So your payment could be managed by Apple or Google. It's not even managed by us. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. So your, your payment information never touches us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we, that's how secure we're trying to keep it. Wow. That's awesome. Well done, guys. What, yeah. um, Okay, we, we were talking earlier when we were kind of setting all up and we wanted to get into it. What? Give us some stories. We, we like. Okay, don't get us flagged for the story. Uh, the most PG stories possible. But we're kind. Of, um, we kind of want to know, like, what, like, uh, yeah. most embarrassing. What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you two as a couple, in, in all of your adventures? I would say um, when we very first got into the lifestyle, and we would. Anybody that would reach out to us, we thought we were lucky because somebody was talking to us. So we didn't really <laughs> weed through anybody. So we're like, oh my gosh, like somebody <laughs> somebody's we're talking cool. to us. <laughs> and we wouldn't really do the things we would do now to kind of have conversation and get a feel for anything. There was no double date feature then. No. Yeah. <laughs> and we went out on, um, a, we met them at a, like a kind of like a barzy place and we ordered some food and we're talking to them and. What we didn't realize the whole time is that they knew me the whole time and but even before they met no us way. And, and, didn't and didn't tell me. It. Oh, so they knew you just by looking when you guys were talking to them mm-hmm. via like some kind yes, of like they, texting. Yeah, they knew me from my job. Oh no! And then wanted to kind of drop that bomb on me by directly asking me where you work, not what do you do. But one of the what, top three questions, they mm-hmm. said it directly, where do you work? Looked at me. I was like, Just well, direct. I didn't think people did that wow. right off the yeah. roof. And it's so, like, we, we want to try to kind of remain a little anonymous well, here. Yeah. So don't ask me two personal questions right. here, man. Mm-hmm. And then oh. when I told, I guess they wanted to test me to see if I would lie. And I didn't. And they're like, well, we know you. That was, you think that's the worst part, but Tip then it the just went really south from there as if it could, right? Oh. Well, then... He is very aggressive in the conversation, but he's kind of running everything and she's kind of cowering down. I think she's a little embarrassed. But during the conversation, he pulls out his phone and says, this is my son. He's an actor in California and turns his phone around. And it's a completely nude picture of a man with an erection stroking his. Oh, my. And that's his son. And I'm literally like, what? What? He's like, yeah, he's a porn star. And he starts like sliding through the pictures and i was like shoot me now yep. <gasps> and then if it can't get worse it did <laughs> you can't make this up and then after we are finally luckily departing i'm like you know kicking dave under the table we're out in the parking lot and the guy comes up to dave and says you know our waitress well she thinks you're really hot she's my 17 year old daughter 
shot. And I'm literally like waiting for the punked crew to come out and be <laughs> like, like, we're, we're like, like <laughs> what is happening? What I'm is happening? Like, it was like a Twilight Zone episode that was continuing so to spiral. Their daughter was waiting on you. Right, right the entire time. And we had no idea. snippets of the awkward and they had terrible yeah. conversation. Oh my God. And and like, I'm yeah. assuming that's the last time you. Or you're like, they're doing. Okay. Have you seen them on Double Date Nation? Actually, they live in our basement. Actually, it was not the last time we saw them because remember, they knew me at my job. So the profession was medical. So a lot of times you see people over and over again. So it was not the last time. So it was very awkward. So chalk that up to experience. That's yeah. yeah. So that was like the first time you guys went. So your most embarrassing, weirdest <laughs> right. time was the very that first time. That was our time. first. And so that's where I said, like, with the double thing <laughs> nation, like, less intimidating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't even imagine. So uh, what So what movies was the kid in? I mean, did, he, <laughs> did they give you his DVDs? No, I think we were DVDs? more stunned more than anything. <laughs> I mean, my takeaway is that there's a proud father out there. <laughs> yeah. People are so worried. Kids. To tell yeah. their parents that they're in porn, but he's just showing pictures. He's very, did, mean, did he point to? Did he do one of those things like point to the waitress and like, see that waitress over there? Her brother's in porn. <laughs> <laughs> he's right. only proud of her brother. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> this is her brother's erection. <laughs> right. Exactly. Oh, he did tell me so more than once that he had the title because um, to his Camaro because it was paid for. And I was like, ooh. Oh. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> it's like, we're just having dinner. You don't have to tell us stuff like this. That is a panty dropper right there. I'm going to need some shoes. Show, right, right. <laughs> Show me the title. Talk, put your money where your mouth yeah, prove is. It, prove it. Prove it. <laughs> I'm like, what did we do? What in the world? Live and learn. So, of course, it was like a 45-minute ride home. And we were just sitting there the entire time, like, did that really, oh. really? It's like, how did we get ourselves into this? Yeah. How did that not, get, like, how did you guys just not go, okay, this is done. We're not doing this anymore. Well, we built up the confidence after that to yeah. do things like that. Yeah. I think we may have stepped back for a little bit. We did. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It was bad. Yeah. Real bad. That's Nothing like a paid off car, though. I will give him that. Yeah. yeah Camaro <laughs> with that. <laughs> Raise this kid right. Like yeah. I don't have a crying. note for my car yet. Just I, I still have a loan. Yeah. <laughs> Porn paid for this. Yeah. No, my dad's not bragging. Yeah. <laughs> my dad's not, yeah, my dad's not bragging about me in restaurants. He's like, he's got two car notes. I don't know what he's Idiot. doing. Idiot. <laughs> he's got two loans. Daddy going to porn, but disappointed me. <laughs> what is that interest rate? Yeah. What is that interest rate? <laughs> Did uh, okay, so that was your that most was your worst. Is there yeah. a, is there a best uh, best experience or most? I wonder if it's different for each of you. Most exciting or surprising thing? That I'm looking at him right now, and it looks like she's got a different best experience than him. I'm trying to figure out which one it would be. Oh, I know that was easy. Which oh. Like, oh. blink with your eyes, which one it is. <laughs> uh, but no, I would say it was our very first one that we've already Yeah, referenced. actually, that was really funny. Yeah. Not I, your I, very first meetup, your very first time with... Experience. Oh, yeah. Experience. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, it's like the sexual adrenaline in that first engagement yeah. is insane. Yeah. Well, it was the people, too. That didn't help. Yeah, that that made it even better. Well, <laughs> no, I mean, the people, the relationship, they oh, yeah. were... It, you could tell they were madly in love High school and so sweethearts. you could just see it all yeah. over them so that mm -hmm. to me was just like a safe place like it was a warm spot it's like that's beautiful does it right make there. it more comfortable because you're like okay these two are in love you know this woman's not trying to take my man and my man's not trying to take that and you know vice versa he's not trying to like so when you see two people in love, it just makes you, is that what you're saying? It makes you open up more to where you're, yeah, there's yeah. no jealousy factor or there's no. Yeah. Well, it's not like they're trying to fix something. So right. I think it's more attractive when, gotcha. you know, those elements, the question marks are gone, but mm -hmm. yeah, you could just see it in them. It was just. Well, was and then too, when you, you deal with like insecurities in the very beginning, like when you're getting this, you're talking about trying to share your partner with somebody else mm -hmm. and then having someone you worry is going to try to take your wife emotionally yeah like physically is one thing but if you try to take my wife emotionally i will hurt you yeah. <laughs> but you know and that that would be the biggest fear and jealousy and when i realized that our trust like opened up more than anything yeah mm -hmm. so yeah well, yeah that's cool what um what 
that night. Okay, so no, don't don't go too deep into that night. You just you enjoyed it. But was that the first night you met the couple? Do you, like what's what's the lifestyle? Not goal, but what is? Or what was the mm, lead up to that? Like, yeah. how did you get to that comfort level with them? Is it like high school dating? We're like, okay, th- we're, we're going out with them three times, and then on the fourth <laughs> time. <laughs> well, we talked with them a lot, okay. so there was a lot of conversation on the site, on and back and forth. Um, and we had told them, you know, we've never done this before, so we have a lot of boundaries. Yeah, they were a little obnoxious, and those so went right out the roles. window after that very first yeah. experience. I'm like, screw yep. this! It's not, there's two. You can't, in my opinion, you can't do too rules many really rules. Not yeah. the kind we had. Um, so they and they respected that, and they never pushed the bar, which was nice too. Mm-hmm. So there wasn't, you know, that that a was a lot of respect. That yeah. was helpful. So they were, mm-hmm. you know, they let us kind of talk, and then when things moved to the next step, you know, they were very cautious but you know they knew it was okay and and it was <laughs> it was okay it was really, it was they really just kept, okay they just kept asking questions can i do this can i do this yeah. mm-hmm. yes yes so what was the next day like what did your neighbors say oh my gosh <laughs> well after we shame? had sex 25 times after yes. we got home, uh, after that experience day. we we were having sex like money rabbits <laughs> really oh yeah, yeah. It, it was hot i think it was like five <laughs> times in 24 hours i don't remember Something like that. It was pretty much nonstop. Yeah. So that's what uh, I think that's the the is that the lure of why the broken couples might want to try to hop in the uh, the thing is because they think that that's the fix to can get that spark back. Mm -hmm. You you would think that it would be wrong. Yeah, you know, it definitely be wrong. But that's what I'm saying. That's like the golden egg that they see over there. Like, that's what's going to fix why we don't want to have sex with each other, you know, but it's most likely there's something probably else and has nothing to do with that there. In in my opinion, when you have a couple that's not solid and there's jealousy involved, uh, typically one ends up liking it way too much Mm -hmm. and they're not Mm -hmm. sharing the excitement. And then that's when it will start to spiral. Both partners have to equally share in the excitement. Otherwise it's just Mm going to spiral in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. Do you guys usually see people progress to where they come in and maybe they say, oh, we're only going to double date. Oh, and over yes. time oh, yeah. they're all in. Very quickly. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't take long. <laughs> they're like, oh, we only do soft right now. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They all do, sweetie. Right, right. right. <laughs> Just call me in a couple weeks. <laughs> Let me know how it's going. <laughs> what age groups are you guys seeing uh, that are kind of getting into it? Because I kind of have a theory that, that so my age group, like I think we're kind of the same. Addie's a little bit younger than me, but I always think like, let's just say Gen Xers, because I'm I'm pretty close to that. Gen Xers are very sexual. I think Millennials have this weird thing where they're they they're very um, is it Puritan is the word? Like they're I just didn't think like in that generation sex was a big thing, but then I think these younger couples that are now like. 20 21 22 23 because they're not millennials but there's some whatever the new group is right but they seem to be kind of like let the freak flags fly mm-hmm. it seems like it skipped a generation mm-hmm. like millennials are kind of just maybe a little bit uptight if i can paint them with the broad brush <laughs> um <laughs> right <laughs> um so yeah do you see that uh, on the website do you see kind of like a, a younger group of people coming on and kind of getting into the lifestyle um or is it mainly just we're you know older more secure marriages blah 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 i i think we have seen a lot of younger single people come on where they're really not committing or have any interest in committing both mm-hmm. men and women that are just looking to meet other people and express themselves sexually and move mm-hmm. on It is a different mindset. It's a generation that, you know, I'm not used to. I'm not, and we weren't really brought up like that or used to that. But that is kind of the upcoming way of thinking. Mm -hmm. But we do see so many retiree age people, like 55 and up. Oh, wow. A good bit. Like I would say, you know, it's a good percentage of people. It's actually quite amazing. It's like the the older demographic, they're like, we've reached this age. We don't care if you know horse swingers. You know, so they're they're proud. And then we do see the younger demographic at the same time. And what's great, the parties we go to, you see that change. You'll see 
twenties yeah. all the way up to the sixties. It's it's wow. it's great. Yeah, you see, that, like they're empty nesters. They're you know financially secure. They have disposable income, and they're retired for the most part. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's that second part of life and they're just kind of rediscovering all kinds of things and they are so excited and almost the energy with them equals the 20 somethings that are coming in and i love wow. it it's just the most, it's the coolest thing it's wow. it's it's super hot you know just because they're they're in a they're in a place in their life they've never been in their relationship and mm-hmm. their marriage and it's it's cool and you get to see a side of people you you didn't typically get to like lots what? of sides <laughs> the, the, Every angle. all the sides, all the sides. But like, I, I, I think in my mind, like I would be walking in the grocery store and I could see a woman, and then see a replica of her that I may have seen at a swinger club last night, and she was getting freaky, getting her freak flag fly going, and it's just, it's funny knowing that you can have an everyday person. And at night, they can be somebody else. Yeah. You know? Well, they're all everyday people. They, yeah. yeah. Really, they're all everyday they people. You guys are lucky to get to see that. It's <laughs> funny. Many people never, never get to see behind closed doors or never oh, get yeah. to know what people are, you know, really, really like mm-hmm. at the end of the day. That's fun. We kind of had a discussion on that in the last podcast where I just, I kind of was saying, we kind of got into like more of a uh, how many people masturbate conversation, but we were kind of leaning towards like, like how many people have that secret thing that they refuse to talk about, but they'll like one, two times a month, they'll like go off into a dark corner and then look at some feet on their phone. And you know, that's what, you know, that's what gets them going or whatever. And I think everybody has that, but they're just really quick to, just not in it, maybe just not admit that they have it and they just push it down. And then they can also talk down to other people. Like they can look at you guys and just be like, Oh, well, look at them swingers. Oh, that's, you know, Oh, I would never do that. But meanwhile, again, they're in the corner, dark corner and they're, you know, care bears on their thing and then, <laughs> you know, and get some going like, yeah, well, you know, they're closeted, whatever they are, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I think that, uh, it's just, I think the more you talk about it and the more people just experience, maybe just go into one of those parties once. Like if you're single, just, I think, so those parties that you go to, let's get on those. Like, so a single person, can they just go? Like, cause there are, right. What are they called? Like hotel takeovers mm-hmm. or whatever the, you know? So a single guy that's just might be, you know, I don't know, not down on his luck in the dating scene, but just maybe it's just like, hey, this interests me. Maybe like, I don't know like talking to a couple or just openly mm-hmm. talking like so do they pay more money to go or are they free not free but i mean is it they're just looked at normal are they allowed or do you, or are they actively looking for couples to go together they are allowed uh now if there's events going on typically single guys will pay more because we're guys we're dogs yes yeah i mean yeah. if there's a party where people yeah. are gonna be naked i want to be yeah, there exactly. so everybody would try to show up well there are parties though that specifically do not allow single men right to a certain events mm-hmm. just because sometimes it can be or they'll yeah. have a limit will right. they allow single women Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what? We have not made it far enough in this society yet. This this the equality thing needs to really catch up. The and unicorns are thinking. always welcomed. <laughs> Is that what they're called? Unicorns? Unicorns, unicorns. Yeah. And why are they called unicorns? I'm sure I can figure that out. So rare. Yeah. <laughs> they don't exist. Barely exist. We've right. never met one, actually. What we've met one, we we've own never a, been a, with one. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We've met plenty of unicorns. So we met one too late. We met one after she had already gotten into a relationship. Oh, so close. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Maddie's even good. Just, even just hearing her experience of one time going to a party where she happened to meet her boyfriend and just... 35 people desperately wanted to meet and talk with her and get a moment of her time. And mm-hmm. She did make it sound <laughs> it's so like, oh, yeah. <laughs> to be a unicorn. So yeah. I'm just trying to think, was I super drunk? I don't remember meeting anybody telling us that story. Really? Can you give me a hint who it was without saying their name and social security number? I don't think I can give you a very good hint. Okay. Uh, I think it would be too. Obvious. We meet a lot of people in that lifestyle. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> We should send him over to the neighbor's house. <laughs> she's a girlfriend of mine. She's not with that guy anymore. But they met when she was I do know. Party. Yeah. Yep, I do know. Yep. yep. Okay. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> um, Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, you would think uh, that, that they're just 
single girls aren't just roaming around looking for a couple to hang out with. And yeah, I get it. We have a theory. Yeah. I think we've said this. I don't know if you remember us talking about this, but um, I probably don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many things that I don't remember. Sorry. That, that maybe sometimes, let's just say, the wife of a couple doesn't really want to do anything. And so they'll say, oh, we're looking for another girl only. <laughs> right. Like mm-hmm. cleverly knowing that that's the impossible. The right. hill to climb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Safety so first. If you're a wife who doesn't really want to, <laughs> right. swing, yeah. it's a trick for you. <laughs> <laughs> just say, just say, yeah. Right. yeah. No. Sure, baby. Whenever we find a hot single girl, <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's probably so true. There's probably some smart, smart ladies out there I doing that. Like there might be some wise ladies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. Um, so on your website, Back to that, can the people choose? Because, you know, the thing is now, like, and I'm going to be ignorant that I don't know them all, but I kind of know some. There's obviously heterosexual, bisexual, uh, pansexual. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, do you have a whole drop down list where they mm-hmm. can choose what they are and people can really get into? Uh, I don't even, I, we, we were too old for Tinder. We never, we've been together for so long. So I don't know if they do that on regular dating apps. I don't know. I th- probably not, so. I don't know. I don't want to say I'm regular because sure you know, they do. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, we, we do have the options of pansexual, bisexual, and heterosexual. Yeah. And homosexual, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Very, you know, it's there's the same-sex spectrum. couples. Yeah. Non-binary, is that a thing? I think that's a thing. I think it is. But is that not a, That's just you don't identify as yeah. a boy or girl? Or am I wrong on that? When somebody says, you fit in. you're not very hip, you don't even know this. She just gave me a look like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't embarrass me. Okay, so non-binary. I think it's you. That it means you don't follow along either. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> the thing is, is it's not just Maddie because nobody's chiming in to the yeah, answer. Exactly. I'm just sitting exactly. over here going, somebody yeah. answered the question. Yeah. Well, maybe somebody can put it in the comments. And uh, But I mean, whatever. It, th- th- that's the whole point. Like, you don't have to know them all. It doesn't make you a bad person. Just as long as you accept it. When like if somebody mm-hmm. says it's a thing, you don't go, no, it's not a thing. Well, it's obviously a thing, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, and you just kind of accept it. So yeah, not knowing, I don't think makes us bad people. I'm making an excuse why none of us know. But we <laughs> probably are horrible people. I think <laughs> our privilege that we're <laughs> not totally clear. Mm-hmm. Well, and the thing is too, is we had, when we first launched the site, we had a, a gentleman reach out and say, you know, you don't have an option for pansexual. I honestly did not know what that was at the time. We didn't. And we added it, you know. In that do you know what it is now? Yeah. I do. Yeah. All yeah. right, let me take a guess. Okay. It is when they can fall in love or they can, they can be attracted to somebody and it doesn't matter what sex they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's different than bisexual because bisexual means it, it has to be a man or it has to be a woman. Yeah, to be sexually attracted. To be sexually right? attracted. Yeah, but yeah. pansexual means you can be emotionally attracted to. Like, like the, 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 your your yeah. sexuality is based on your relationship with another individual. I guess would be a better saying. Like oh, okay. how you, how your no, chemistry I, is with that person. I, I Does it, it relationship or chemistry? I thought it was more you could be sexually attracted to any gender. Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. It's it, just it's situational. Or, yeah. 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 But I think you guys are both saying the same thing. Okay. Yeah. 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 But I'm right. <laughs> but, but I think, but I think oh, yeah. a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to argue on that one, as you can tell. <laughs> but I'm right. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, yeah, I uh, uh, I'm I'm learning I'm learning the stuff and I'm trying to be like, not that it's that hard to be open to it. That's the easy part, but just like mm-hmm. trying to, um, uh, j- try not to be ignorant about mm-hmm. you know when somebody says that's what they are, uh, or I, I guess and not make assumptions about pronouns and stuff. I yeah, think I'm still struggling. way behind on that. I get it, if, but I've I've never come into contact outside of Twitter anybody that wanted to be called anything different than him, her, she, or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I do know that they say they want some they people want them. they and them. Mm-hmm. But I've never had anybody tell me can refer to me as they, right? Because uh, I wouldn't know how to say it in a sentence. But 
all they would need to do is explain it to me. Right. I absolutely would, right. you know, because the same way. It, it doesn't bother me. Right, <laughs> right. Bother me. right. Yeah, cool. No you judgment. Know, just tell me how to say it so I don't look stupid right. and we will be friends. <laughs> so I can educate the next person. Yeah, right. so I can educate yeah. the next person. Yeah. They over there and they look at me and like, that's not how you say it. You say him over there. No. no. <laughs> You're like, hey, look at me. Yeah. No, no, You're learning. evolving. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Well, that's awesome. Um, parties. We we already talked about that. Best town for the lifestyle out of all your travels. What's like? What's the town of somebody's? So say somebody's traveling and like you know I just want to go to one of these lifestyle parties you know and see what it's all about and just kind of talk to people that are more open and stuff like that. So what is the town? Is it like? Kind of like the strip clubs, like Atlanta and Vegas, or does it follow that same path, or is it just like Topeka, Kansas, is like the hot spot? <laughs> Surprisingly, they're all over the place. Yeah. yeah, the bigger cities, I think, have a larger um, following and community, mm-hmm. and probably better mm-hmm. clubs and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I think it's pretty similar to the quality of like strip clubs. And, okay. Yeah. So Atlanta probably has mm-hmm. a big one. What yeah. about like is the Miamis of the world? Is it like mm-hmm. a Miami? Big... Yeah. I, uh, well, Nashville, we have Minaj, which is going to be reopening. Okay. Uh, which is going to be another lifestyle mm-hmm. club, which I like Minaj because it's in the middle of Tennessee, which touches seven states. Yeah. So most people don't like to get freaky in their own states. Ah, okay. So they just travel to Nashville. Yeah. yeah. And trapeze in Atlanta. Trapeze yeah. is also in Florida. Florida. In Fort. And Florida. then uh, what was the other? Colette. Uh, in Colette. Texas. Yeah, they're. Yeah, those are nice. Colette's got four. Those are the really nice ones. Yeah. Really. Do they're you, sexy. Do you have a preference between going to a club or going to like a hotel party takeover? It depends on the party yeah. mm-hmm. and takeover. Um, I like clubs. I like brick and mortar that's just kind of always in the same spot mm-hmm. uh, just because that's just what they do. So in a hotel takeover, it's kind of different. It's Sometimes they don't take over the whole to, the whole, whole hotel, the whole hotel. <laughs> um, but, and I've had that, I've seen that happen before. Mm-hmm. And that's strange because when you're in theme and you're in the elevator and there's people getting on and they're looking at you yeah. like why are you dressed like a flapper it's like, oh, it's like a kid missing you I was gonna say yeah they're, they're wearing next to nothing so when you go to the hotel takeovers and it's not a complete takeover oh yeah we, and they we, call it a we, takeover we've been to one where there was like a, a volleyball tournament happening in the city yeah and like yeah. I have to, I, and we walked in I was like we're going out we're leaving and our whole introvert just like it kicked right in I'm like I, she needed to wear a trench coat to cover up what she was wearing wow yeah, was, yeah. I mean I can see we're open people and we uh yeah like none of that stuff bothers us and i'm sure as our kids get older like i'm just gonna make sure that it doesn't bother them either like if they see a naked people like when they're 12 or 13 i'm not gonna cover their eyes and ears i'm like yeah that's just a couple having fun don't worry about it you know Mm -hmm. um but i can see like if we were staying at a hotel (laughs) don't worry about it (laughs) daddy will worry about it later (laughs) um no but i can see like if if you had an eight seven and eight year old and you're in the same hotel as one of those. So yeah, I, that all would of a be... sudden, just everyone's in whips and chains. And yeah. Like, oh. yeah, and then and night. then like I, I just I can just imagine the conversation I'd have to have with my kids that like okay, you and mommy are going to stay in a different hotel while daddy stays here, <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be all right. I will see you tomorrow. No, tomorrow for daddy breakfast. can't FaceTime because the Wi-Fi here. Is right. no good. It'll be a difficult know. conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Packing your bag right now. <laughs> What's oh, with all that leather? It says leather, Daddy. Is that I feel a like whip? you already packed all of this. <laughs> Why was this pre-packed? All this leather and nope, chains. You're uh, misunderstanding me. <laughs> that was a cowboy convention. Yeah. Um, so the hotel takeovers. Um, what about? I remember as a like a young kid, when I say young kid, 18, 19, 20, I always hear about the resorts. Like I know it's not sandals, but they uh um JD Harmeyer from the Howard Stern show went to one and they like did a whole like expose on him going to this. Got the word too. To, uh, if you guys know it's the resort, desire. Desire. Well, there's desire, there's temptation or hedo. 
he just, hedonism. He he, that's where he went. He did, he, when he almost drowned on a slide in like a three feet of water. <laughs> oh, I hope J.D. Harmeyer watches this podcast at some point in his life. <laughs> <laughs> J.D., we love you. Yes. Um, J.D. used to um, tweet to me a long time ago. Oh, really? And I was really excited about it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's story awesome. For another time. He, he's awesome. Uh, yeah, next podcast, tell that story. <laughs> no, do not tell that story. He's happily married. It was no, way it before he was, was married. It was way before yeah, he was married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, <laughs> Okay, so those, so hedonism, what were the other two? Uh, well, there's hedonism, there's mm-hmm. desire, which desire has Pearl and RM. Riviera Maya and then Temptation Resort is mm-hmm. the ones that we that we know of. Right. Yeah. So these are resorts just like you go to it in Cancun, all mm-hmm. inclusive. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. It's just, what is, like, what is that? Everybody walks around naked, yep. mm-hmm. all doors are open, <laughs> or what's... Naked. But it, naked everywhere. Yeah. Well, not necessarily at hedonism. Oh, yeah. They call it hedo. Um, they have a nude side and a prude side. Now you can be <laughs> naked <gasps> anywhere. That's always you can do anything you want. Even on the prude yeah, side, you can mm-hmm. yes, but you are not allowed to be clothed Ooh. on the nude side. On the nude side, you they can't wear actually, anything. Reprimand you. You have like really? two minutes to shed it, oh, take it funny. off, or yeah. you have to go back to the prude side. And, to the prude. and they mean nude, like all yeah. of it comes off. Because <laughs> you, you think about it, if you're the one person, you're going to make everybody else feel uncomfortable, right? Yeah, you can't yeah. be the creeper over there. Right. Right. <laughs> no, you <laughs> stand you above like the rest of us. What have you guys been to them? We have. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah we we went this well. When was our last time before COVID? Yeah. And desire, you don't have to do anything. You can Mm -mm. wear a bathing suit the whole time, but you can also be completely nude the whole time. So there's no restrictions or, you know, you have to do anything. So it's a little, desire is a little more, I'd say a little more upscale, less party type. Yeah. Um, But very sexy. It's a very sexually charged environment in in any of them. Hedo is a little more party. Right. Yeah, you know, it, it, I, I can put it like this. When the times we've been to Desire, we get in the pool, uh, we can probably see 15 people. And it's a huge pool. When you go to Hedonism, that pool fills up quick. You're elbow to elbow. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. There's yeah. so many people because it's the, on the nude side. So everybody just converges. That's the party It's pool. a huge okay. naked party yeah i think i would I'd find that overwhelming yeah. it's a lot it's, it's, a, it's a, lot. a sensory it's a whole lot. overload <laughs> it really is it is it's a lot especially if you've never been to anything like that that's like jumping off the high dive like straight in okay yeah. so you don't recommend those to new to new. Okay, no no yeah. work not your way he, to that one yeah work your, work your way, yeah. Up. way there i yeah. would recommend desire absolutely because desire. it's a little less well intrusive. now so desire is known as a lifestyle resort and temptations just known as kind of like an adult Adults only because singles can go. So no. couples are only a lot like they don't allow anything other than couples at desire. Um, Hedo and temptation singles can go. So you may have a divorce party or a bachelorette party or. Oh, wow. Yeah. Along oh. with couples. So it's a whole mm-hmm. thing. That's so interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So That'd I, be a great place for a party. Oh, yeah. 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 I oh, picture yeah. that my dirty mind is picturing just like the whole grounds. It's like you, you're just walking and all of a sudden the bushes are shaking <laughs> and like there's like people having sex in the, is it like that or is it like no everybody's like respectful they go back to the rooms it's not just like people are having sex on like the outs like you could be drinking a pina colada and then somebody on the chair next to you is having sex <laughs> like, or is it, yeah or is it i mean is that allowed at those places it, it is but we i have not seen we, that okay. we've never done it now um i think at the resorts at nighttime sex does happen in the dark because you know people can do it in the shadows yeah, yeah. Um, well there's places there's for places that too. gazebo stuff like that but That's where i like to do it but during gazebo the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> I <hate> the shadows. <laughs> yeah. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> that would be creepy for like getting freaky and someone like whispers that in your ear. <laughs> Honey, let's go back to the room. Oh my gosh. Well, it's, you, it's, you, <laughs> you like the shadows. I was born in the shadows. <laughs> Well, in our, I, anytime we have never had an experience with another couple at Desire and we've gone there a or couple of times, the any of the resorts actually. Um, but I think one of the funniest things, oh shit, I lost where I was going. <laughs> I was <kicking> in. <laughs> well, we've, we've had exhibitionist type. We, yeah. we played as they put it together outside during kind of 
the nighttime. That's which where I was going. Yeah, That's I figured. So uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I love her. Yeah. I love her. She got you. Those yeah. LaCroix yeah. kicking in. Yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no. So we did have that experience where we were just getting into the desire mood or something. So we went over to a gazebo. Nobody was around. Cabana. Oh, Cabana. No, <laughs> nobody was around. And we just started making out. And it just like the sexual energy hiding in there. And we started having sex. And then another couple started walking by. And I was like, she doesn't see this. This is a little weird right now. I don't know what's about to happen. And they walk over to the Cabana. I'm not going to say that word anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no, the cabana. other Cabana. The other Cabana. And they started doing their thing on that cabana right know, next to us Isn't right next to us and it was so hot there was no talking no mm -hmm. nothing it was just we were having sex and they went over there they started having sex yeah. it, it was hot. cool it yeah. was hot it was fun that sounds great Let's go. I mean, like, <laughs> let's end on a high note. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's a good story. Um, okay, yeah, let's let's end this. So let's give our audience uh, a rundown real quick of, um, let's just say, what's your, so you have uh, some people out there wondering right now and they're wondering, okay, so how, how do I approach my partner? Or say, say they've approached each other and they're willing to try. What's your recommendation first night what do they do so they go on double date nation they they find another couple in their area mm -hmm. and like just run them through like what's the you know what's the protocol of of asking somebody out like to just go out and have dinner they don't want to do anything else they just want to go out and have dinner is it just something as simple as like everybody knows like hey do you want to meet for drinks or is there a uh like what's are your they, recommendation for people to dip their toe in the Are they liking photos of the other profile? How do they kind of get in their inbox and how do they get things going? I get to hand that to you. Well, so on, we have the option to select double date, no expectations. So if you've selected that and you're talking to somebody, then they can see that that's kind of your goal. So that's a good way to kind of unspoken, you know, that's our boundary, gotcha. but then openly talk about it. You know, we've never done this before, or we don't play on the first date. That's mm -hmm. always a good one to go with just because if it's just a total shit show yeah. <laughs> as previously yeah. mentioned um, then you've got that out so that way because a lot of times what we would run into is people would say you know we had a babysitter and they would actually put pressure on us like well, you're disappointing us mm -hmm. and that's no way to be you know yeah. it's like well I'm sorry we didn't pull through for you you know yeah. um, is it a notorious uh, I don't want to use the word flaky but is it a notorious community where things get cancelled and you just have to just roll with it and not be upset mm -hmm. because there are babysitters. People there are can no show, right? People. Ghost you, mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah. It's just like dating. It, okay. it can Same be, thing. yeah. Same thing. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. yeah. So yeah. So your, your your recommendation for maybe new people getting in is like go in if you're on Double Date Nation. You kind of click the no expectations. Mm -hmm. That way you're just basically going out to a local restaurant with two other people that have similar interests and you're probably not going to talk about the stock market and stuff right. like that. You mm -hmm. might just talk about a story at a, at a club or a, right. or yeah. whatever. Exactly. Well, I, if I was to go for like a full path to it, start, we started with like podcast, mm -hmm. reading yeah. things on the internet, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. sign up for double date nation. Um, one of the things you, Cruise through with it with a couple, like as a couple, and you can actually go through and wink at people, which is kind of like a little flirt. Okay. And if they wink back, then you guys can start talking. Mm. Like it, it just it breaks away of like having to walk up to somebody in a club and getting past that anxiety. Instead, you just get to wink and then start talking. But podcasts, that's a good point, um, are good to listen to because a lot of people give you insight so you don't run into the roadblocks that you know a lot of people do yeah. so it's like here's the warning signs here are the red flags here's some advice and there's different podcasts for all personalities some are just for a free-for-all and they're crazy and they talk about all kinds of stuff and then some are more organized so there's there's a there's a podcast for everybody just uh -huh. about and we've got a page on the podcaster influencer influencers page on double day nation that has a whole list of them so it, it's a yeah. it's a great resource yeah, and blogs are great too it's it's updated every single day it's just the latest uh, lifestyle podcast that we've mm -hmm. had the ability to be able to put on our website yeah. cool we have a lot so that's, awesome. yeah, that's a resource i would never have thought of oh, yeah. such good advice to get yourself acclimated mm -hmm. figure out what's normal what can you expect right and it's really good entertainment <laughs> I would imagine. We, we used to have to drive to work for like 45 minutes together. So we would just turn on a podcast and just listen to it. Yep. Wow. Well, yeah. Uh, before we, before we let you guys go, 
we didn't touch on OnlyFans at all, and we would love to hear, I mean, we'd love to hear kind of what gave you guys the push to get into it and how you're feeling about it. You're just over a week in. Um, how, how's OnlyFans treating you? Well, we had great incentive after we talked to some good friends. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who that was. Uh, <laughs> wink. Um, and um, we were on vacation and just kind of relaxed and said, let's, why not? We love to be exhibitionists, like we said, and why not? I mean, mm -hmm. it'd be fun. It can't hurt anything, right? So let's set up an account and let's put our phone on a tripod. <laughs> let's do this. And we did. And eight days later, here we are. And it's, it's grown really it's fast. Exciting. It is. It's nice. fun. We've had so much fun interacting with people and uh, messages and requests. And it's, it's sexy. <laughs> Tell the fans, though, it, uh, how many X's are we talking about on this? Uh, <laughs> how many X's would it would uh, the, the Motion Picture Association of America rate your only fans? Our triple X would be. I would triple say all X? the X's. Okay. All the X's. Be, I don't know if there's any no X's. There I'm, is, I'm sure there are. Well, I mean, I I'm sure there's that. posts that are not, but the, yeah. the whole, the whole. It's not safe for work. Okay. It's very yeah. not safe. No. Yeah. Because the, the thing is with only fans that people uh, uh, um, kind of don't get in trouble for, but maybe don't put out there is that. You know, some people go to OnlyFans expecting to see that mm -hmm. XXX, mm -hmm. um, and then they they don't see that. They just see like you know really really small thongs or or mm -hmm. whatever, uh, and then people get pissed. They pay their money and they're like I was expecting nudity yeah. or I, and, the, and um, but you guys obviously make it clear then on your like little thing that hey this is mm -hmm. what you're getting when you're signing up. Right. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I I've loved it because I loved recording her for years you know all anytime we have sex i'm like can yeah. i record this and now you can share it with people share yeah. It with you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we had an arsenal for years we yeah mm -hmm. yeah we did and it was like oh we can't do that that was so long ago it's not even the right format it's like well, it was great we started it so vhs old. yeah <laughs> We started the channel and like I was like, you remember this? She goes, when did I do that? Oh my god, when did you record this? Yeah. So you're saying there's a lot of couples out there that don't know that they have an OnlyFans a trove of material <laughs> that they can wait. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and it's that's been awesome. fun making the new stuff too. Oh, so. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, we wish you luck and all Thank that. You. And uh, Thank you. yeah, that's. Uh, it's gonna be excited. We're already subscribed here, so we're acting like we don't know about it. We already subscribed. And, yeah, uh, and thank you. big big fans. I yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, yeah. Thanks for. It. We're gonna let you guys get home to your beautiful lifestyle with no kids, <laughs> <laughs> a giant house, and uh, Hello, uh, uh, sleeping in tomorrow. I am sure. <laughs> wow. We're, we we're, we're dinks. Yeah, yeah dinks. Yeah, yeah. Dual income, no kids. Right, right. I know that yeah. One. Not anymore. Perfect. That we're sinks. Yeah. We're sinks. Because I'm no longer. Oh, well, now I'm on OnlyFans, so we're dinks. So, yeah, sorry, we're dinks. Yeah, yeah, correct. Thank you. We, we yeah. regained our status. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're back, baby. Right, right. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's awesome. So uh, I'm sure we will see you guys soon, and uh, maybe another video down the road, uh, ASMR wise, we can uh, yeah. get you on there and, uh, and promo do something code. Like you guys have a promo code for Double Date Nation. Oh yeah, D yeah Double Date Nation. Yeah, that's going to be on the we ASMR have, uh, video. We have promo code M A D D Y. Uh, what does that spell? Oh, Maddie. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> uh, and what do they get on Double Date Nation when they use promo code Maddie? A 30 day trial on Double Date Nation. Nice. So so check it out. 30 that, days free to kind of peruse. Yeah. All right. So wink, there's wink zero. People. Wink yeah. people. There's zero reason not to go on Double Date Nation right. and put in Maddie and get a free 30 day trial. And if anything, you could just try to spot your neighbors on there, <laughs> right? Just go on there and see if you recognize anybody. And you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Mom? Yeah. <laughs> so that's what the pineapples meant. Dang it, I knew it. Why is there so many pineapples in our window? She's so Mom. happy all the time. All this so time. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, cool. Well, thanks for coming on, guys. Thank and you. Uh, thanks for um, Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll end it at that. And cheers and good luck with everything yeah, both yeah. adventures you, you guys do awesome andy and dave that's yes andy and dave goes <laughs> oh and that's another that's the website that goes here oh no, it's dave and andy dave and andy dave and andy, dave and andy, dave and andy, yeah. andy, andy with hey, an i give andy yeah. that wine we're gonna make it <laughs> dave and andy dot com <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, uh, Dandy and Abe. <laughs> Dandy and Abe. <laughs> Everybody's like trying. God, I thought you were just in the mirror. We talked about, <laughs> we talked about this. Dave and Andy. Andy and Dave. <laughs> Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is Finkel. <laughs> Finkel is Einhorn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, we'll end it there. Awesome. Thank you. Guys. Thank, Thank you so much. much. <laughs> All right, let's try it again and record it this time. Yep. <laughs> All right. That is real that funny. That was perfect. <laughs>